Hi friends, welcome back to 10 Minute Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain a sci-fi, mystery, and drama film from 2020 titled, Proximity. This movie is something that you don't want to miss out on. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie takes place in 1979, Alaska. After finishing their work, two lumberjacks send signals to their headquarters as they prepare to return home. On the route, one of the vehicles is abruptly lifted and crashed to the ground by a flying saucer. Following that, both vehicles' connections are lost to the base. A horrified lumberjack attempts to flee into the woods, but the alien spaceship kidnaps him. Isaac Cypress is a highly motivated computer engineer working at NASA in California. When Isaac gets to work, his co-worker Beck lets him know that despite the absence of a grounded satellite in Canada, they continue to receive a signal from that country. When he was working alone in his office, he received a signal from an unknown source that evening, but dismisses it as a glitch. The following day, Isaac does video diaries as a way of healing and decompressing himself. He appears to perceive the existence of several realms as soon as he begins recording video diaries. The next morning, everyone in the city is instantly alerted by a blazing meteor entering the Earth's atmosphere. Isaac also sees the incident and decides to record it. In order to record the spacecraft, Isaac hides himself and runs into the woods. But the flying spaceship vanishes in an instant, and an extraterrestrial creature appears behind him out of nowhere. To his surprise, the alien does not attack him, instead, it simply walks away. Thankfully the camera is still rolling, which records everything. Isaac nevertheless becomes frightened and flees for his life. The news about the meteor is widely reported in the media the next day. Isaac is scheduled to gather samples from the meteorite together with his colleagues, but he is nowhere to be seen. When Isaac awakens three days later, he is on a cliff next to the water. Isaac looks at the camera and discovers that the aliens had taken him hostage. On his right arm, he starts to experience pain. Isaac finds his way back home and learns he has an unusual gift. He stares directly into something, and it vanishes. And if he keeps his attention on the item, it will reappear. In the hospital, on his right arm, the doctor discovers a flawlessly tiny fracture that has been cleanly sliced through without any evidence of scar tissue. Isaac makes the decision to demonstrate his superpower to Beck at the office. He displays it while holding a cup. Oddly, Beck's vision is unaffected by it because he continues to see the cup. So Isaac shows Beck the extraterrestrial video he shot while in the mountain. Isaac uploads the video to the internet, where it sparks outrage and goes viral. The following morning, he gets a call from KFLA, a TV station that wants to interview him. However, the people believe Isaac is just looking for publicity and that the video is fake. Even a random man appears on television and claims to have assisted Isaac in fabricating the footage. Isaac is humiliated in front of everyone, as no one accepts his proofs. Later Isaac is finding someone else who has had similar experiences with aliens. He eventually comes across Sarah, who was previously kidnapped by the aliens. They decide to get together at a nearby restaurant. The following day, while Isaac waits for Sarah, he begins to notice that the things around him are gradually floating in the air. When Sarah arrives, Isaac begins questioning her about the alien encounter and the cut on her arm, but Sarah doesn't know about that. Isaac shows to her the video from his camera and other pieces of proof that aliens are real. At this point, Sarah informs him of the 1979 Alaskan alien abduction, involving a man by the name of Carl. But strangely, he vanished right after telling the story. A few days later, Isaac is compelled to take a lie detector test in which he must respond to numerous questions in order to demonstrate the alien abduction's occurrence. He ends up passing the test, at which point the men in black from a covert organization begin to pursue him. Despite trying to flee, he is eventually shot at and caught. Later, Isaac discovers that he is being brought by androids to a chamber and tied to a chair. Additionally, Sarah is also imprisoned in a different room. Agent William Graves, our antagonist, thinks Isaac may possess some crucial knowledge that may benefit humanity. He proceeds to test Isaac, making him concentrate on the items in the other room in front of him. They continue testing him and asking him questions about Carl, who he is unaware of. Graves appears to lose patience after finding that Isaac has no touch with Carl, and begins bringing up British Columbia as the possible location of the mysterious man. A short while later, Isaac defeats the two androids to climb out of the chair and leave the room. He rushes to Sarah's chamber and saves her using his skills. The androids chase after them as they depart the scene. He utilizes his talent once more on the way to open the emergency entrance and get away. Isaac acknowledges that they are indeed in Costa Rica. 
While this is going on, Agent Graves instructs his androids to look for the pair since he believes they are on their way to British Columbia to find Carl. Returning to Isaac and Sarah, they search for Carl, since he is their only remaining hope even though they don't know anything about him. In Costa Rica's remote countryside, there is no means to look up Carl's details. They eventually ask a local girl for assistance, who advises them to look for a hacker by the name of Zed. When they arrive at Zed's cabin deep within the jungle, they discover that the people who are chasing them are from ISRP, the International Space Research Program. While they are sitting under Zed's lovely home tree, Sarah starts telling Isaac about her alien abduction story and discovers they have a lot in common. But sadly no one believed them. Zed is investigating Carl in the meantime, but there is no information available regarding his whereabouts. Isaac is aware that Carl is someplace close to British Columbia. They ultimately manage to find Carl by synchronizing the signal with the GPS. Carl is actually in a distant area, close to British Columbia. They try to get in touch with Carl, and is successful in getting Carl's attention by telling him the story of his kidnapping. Additionally, he informs Carl that he has received a signal from an unknown source and that he initially believed it to be a glitch. Carl requests that Isaac send him the signal. The decryption of the signal reveals that the alien will visit Carl's area five days later. Sarah believes it is too risky to go there, but Isaac realizes he must be there to solve the problems. Finally, Isaac convinces Sarah to get there because it is the only solution. Zed decides to join the group as well. While the agents are using their trackers to pursue them, three of boards a train, but the androids are right behind them. Zed recommends wearing a mask to fool them, but it doesn't work, still, they manage to deceive the androids, and they flee from their pursuit. Finally, when they arrive at Carl's cabin, he greets them while brandishing a rifle. Carl recognizes Isaac from the previous call and turns off the trackers the agents had planted on Isaac and Sarah's arms, and lets them stay at the cabin for the next two days. Agent Graves observes that he is losing the trackers. Zed is shocked to witness that Carl has created numerous amazing inventions in the cabin in an effort to communicate with the aliens. On the other hand, the agency locates their place as well and is preparing to leave. Later, while Isaac and Sarah are outside, they share that something has changed between them after the kidnapping. When they return to the cabin, Carl warns Isaac to be prepared and to communicate clearly with one another because nobody can be guaranteed to be safe. Sarah struggles to fall asleep at night because her mind is constantly racing with concerns for the future. Isaac comforts her by telling her that he is glad to know Sarah and there is someone who could understand him out of pity. The time has finally come. As they wait for a sign inside the cabin, a tremor happens nearby. When Isaac ventures outside, he eventually runs upon an alien. The alien is led by Isaac to Carl's cabin where Isaac communicates with it using the decryption device. The aliens declare that they have mastered technology, science, medicine, and the physical world. The genesis of the universe, the greatest conceivable existing, is what they are currently looking for. This is something greater and beyond their comprehension. Additionally, they are interested in learning more about Jesus Christ since they consider him to be the connection to the beginning of everything. Since the kidnapping, Sarah has been wondering why her arm hurts so much. The alien explains that she has a tracking device implanted in her arm. They wrap a smart bracelet around her arm to remove it. The ISRP officers are now traveling to the cabin. The aliens are now removing Isaac's tracker. They inform him that it is impossible for him to search for evidence in a world where seeing is believing. The aliens explain that they have already learned that believing is seeing. The agents have now arrived and are fast encircling the area. Carl is told to leave the cabin by Graves. If Carl doesn't reveal what happened to his father, Ronald Graves, who was one of the lumberjacks working with Carl the day he was kidnapped. Carl comes outside with a revolver in his hand, and claims he has no idea what happened to Ronald. No matter what Carl says, Graves orders to shoot the elderly guy. As soon as Sarah leaves the house to check on Carl, she too is shot. Isaac is continuing removing his tracker inside the cabin. Zed and Isaac are both preparing to run away. Before entering another dimension, the aliens advise Isaac to concentrate on believing so that his ability can be released. Just in time, as the police begin to fire, Isaac is able to transport Sarah and Carl's bodies into a parallel universe while also transporting Zed to safety. Graves enters the cabin and finds no sign of the four people because they have all left. Six months later, Sarah and Isaac fall in love with each other, and start a new life in Costa Rica. And together, Carl and Zed establish a new agency. Agent Graves also gets fired for going off the rails of his mission. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe if you're new. And at last, I'll say stay well, stay safe, thanks.